Yo, what is up you guys, your boy Swackoon, back at it again with another video, and today we're going to be going over the brand new updated tier list after the 5th anniversary. So we got a lot of units to go over. First and foremost, we're going to be doing the attack mission mains, and then after this, we are going to be doing the attack mission supports. I will be doing a main defense and final 4 defense tier list as well, but I'll be doing that in a separate video, probably dropping later tonight or tomorrow, just so this video isn't like 3 years long or anything. Y'all already know the drill, we're going to go over and fix and adjust whatever shinobis are in here first and then we'll go ahead and get into the brand new shinobis that have dropped right before anniversary and after anniversary so without further ado let's get straight into it please make sure to leave a like comment and subscribe to join the swag fam if you haven't already but without further ado let's get straight into it so we're starting off right now with the attack mission main tier list now as you guys can see if you guys have seen my previous tier list before i went ahead and switched it up so i actually added a brand new tier called goat tier so triple s plus only because i feel like triple s and double s tier is like too broad of a gap and for example it's like saying i don't know kid sasuke is only a little bit less significant than like boruto versus momoshiki or something you know what i'm saying so adding a goat tier in there i feel like helps add a little bit more margins to basically help differentiate the different shinobis and how good they are so we're gonna go ahead and move everything around first so as an attack mission mains we're gonna move stuff around so First of all, we got Narukage. We're going to be moving him down to double S tier only because with his new X ultimate, yes, he does have revive cancel, but he does lack a lot of damage with the brand new units coming out as well. So I just feel like his utility has kind of dropped down a little bit, but that doesn't necessarily mean he's bad either. Double S tier, he is still clapping cheeks. So as a main, Warning Ninja Sasuke is going to stay here in almost perfect. I do think he's still an amazing, amazing main. Um, so we're going to keep him right there. So we got Boruto versus Momoshiki. I still personally think that he belongs up here in GOAT tier. I think he's an amazing main. He still puts up amazing damage. Um, invincibility, a lot of cooldown, revival. I think he's just very, very good with the, like, unbeatable gate crash. So I just think he's really, really good. Um, honestly, I feel like Warning Ninja Sasuke could probably come up here too. To be honest, I think he can still come up here. Revive cancel, teleportation. I think he deserves a spot up here. Final Valley units are going to drop down to Clapping Cheeks, unfortunately. Even with the high level X ultimate, they did drop down, unfortunately. Um, Ashura, we are also going to probably drop him down to still... Or actually... Nah, we could probably keep him here. We can keep him here. If you stack him up with like the final value units and high damage dealing units, just spamming their jutsus, and he has a good uh, gate crash jutsu as well, I think he's he can belong here in almost perfect as well. So not too bad. Um, we're also going to be moving Edo Itachi. I think I am actually going to drop him down only because he does lack damage. He's an amazing, amazing defender. But as a main, I do think that he just lacks damage. Um, and I mean, like I said, with the high level X ultimate, a lot of people can be good. But Edo Itachi by himself without a high level X ultimate, I don't think he's really going to be doing too much damage against high tanky units like the final Val or in final valley, like the anniversary units. So we're also going to be moving up a few people. So I'm going to be going ahead and moving up Kaguya to almost perfect. Kaguya honestly is still an amazing, amazing attacker. Just an unlimited combo loop. She can just summon Shinobis from super far away, use her tornado to basically fly every it's just she's crazy man she's a crazy attack mission main so definitely earns her stripes there um i do feel we should probably keep toby rama here uh yeah i think we can keep toby rama here his ex ultimate lasts a very very long time same with obito um obito still has an amazing gate crash still one of the best ex ultimate jutsus in the game and with the high level ex ultimate he can definitely still you know hold his stripes up here so probably still going to keep him up here for sure um, let's just make sure that there's nobody else who belongs in almost perfect, which I don't believe so as of right now because we're just adjusting it right now as it is. Uh, so let's just go through the list. We got Jubito right here. Jubito, we are going to drop him down to great, but there's better. I just I just think he lost a lot of utility, unfortunately. Um, and the only way that he can really sneak his way up to still clapping cheeks is if you basically max him out, which if you need to completely max out a unit to be able to use them, then I feel like uh, you know, you, you kind of got to contribute a lot to get a lot out of them. You know what I'm saying? Same thing with Shikamaru. Um, probably going to drop him down to great, but there's better. Only because, yes, he does give uh, force paralysis if he has higher chakra than other shinobi. But at the same time, if he gets stuck by himself, he's kind of fucked. You know what I'm saying? Like, he doesn't really have a lot of damage dealing uh, things. So if he goes in with the squad, the squad gets wiped out and he's by himself. He's not really going to be able to hold his own, unfortunately. But he's still a great shinobi. Hashirama, we're also going to drop him down to great, but there's better. He's just a little bit outdated, uh, was a little bit 
underwhelming, unfortunately. So we're going to drop him down. Kid Sasuke is also coming in great, but there's better. Uh, Momoshiki, we could, probably, we could probably keep him there still. Honestly, he could probably still belong there. For, for the most part, I believe that most people here can still hold their own. So let's just go ahead and go through it one more time. I believe that this should be... Yeah, this should be cool for the most part for attack mission mains as far as the, the shinobi that are here. Okay, so now let's go ahead and get into the new shinobi that have dropped since the fifth anniversary, all right? So first and foremost, we're just going to be going down the list here. So we got Kawaki. Kawaki, first and foremost, we are going to be throwing his ass right up here in GOAT tier. He has revive cancel. He has evasion. He has a lot, a lot of AOE with his old limit break and his new limit break. He can easily escape the magnet traps that are always in everyone's base, which are super annoying. And he has a beautiful final four entry, an amazing, amazing, amazing main for sure. So he definitely belongs up here in the GOAT tier. So we're going to leave him up here. Oh, actually, you know what? Let's throw Madara up here and almost perfect. Madara is actually a very, very good main in my opinion, actually. And Man, Mama Sakura deserves a spot up here too. Let, let, let's keep it a thousand. Mama Sakura deserves a spot up here. Okay, anyways, I, I just, yeah, had to do that. Anyway, so let's go ahead and get into the next one. We got Karma Boruto. Karma Boruto, probably gonna put him in almost perfect as a main. Um, I definitely don't think he's God tier, but when he has his limit break too, um, he decreases status on immunity by 20 seconds, and he also decreases invincibility by, I believe, 10 seconds, which is just absolutely crazy. His damage output is very, very, very nice. Um, so his damage output is nasty, even without his teleport. Like, he has a teleport jutsu, which is very useful, but even without the teleport, his damage output is just absolutely insane. He has double limit breaks, a lot of damage, so he definitely earns his stripes to be an almost perfect up here. So, for the next one, we got the boy... The homie himself, Pervy Sage, Jiraiya the Gallant, the GOAT himself. So we're gonna see where he lands on the tier list. So Jiraiya, honestly, in my personal opinion, I do think he belongs in almost perfect. I, there is an argument that he could even come up here to GOAT tier. You know what? In my opinion, I think Jiraiya belongs in GOAT tier. I honestly think he belongs in GOAT tier. And let me tell you why. His X ultimate does revive cancel. Revive cancel for his X ultimate, okay? That's one thing, which is an amazing, amazing thing. His limit break is absolutely amazing. He has double limit breaks. So he has the frog jutsu and he has his new Rasen shuriken limit break. He gives everyone status some immunity. He has a speed buff. He's tanky. He does a lot of damage. I honestly feel like he has the full kit. I don't really see what he's missing like he's tanky he does a lot of damage i think he's a very very underrated unit i know a lot of people might see this as controversial but let's be honest what do you need in the tech mission main you need someone who gives your team buffs which he does you need a speed buff well you don't need it but it helps speed buff revive cancel revival double limit breaks damage he's a yellow type he has a lot of defense he's tanky he has a great final four entry with the rasengan he has a great gate crash I mean, he checks off all the boxes, in my opinion. So, in my personal opinion, I think Pervy Sage belongs in GOAT tier for his an attack mission main. So, we're going to keep him right there. KLM Minato, we got this bad boy up next. We're going to put him in almost perfect as an attack mission main. Um, the only thing is that I feel like his kit is just a little clunky. I feel like his kit is a little difficult to um, kind of merge together with his old kit. So, you can either use his old limit break, his old... Um, with his new teleport with his new limit break like there's just a lot of different options but he has an amazing teleport which does really good damage and obviously his teleport which helps out a lot it doesn't really help that he doesn't have a gate crash jutsu unfortunately um but he does a lot of good damage has a lot of aoe so i think he's just very solid all around and honestly a very good main i think he's a very good main does a lot of damage and has a lot of aoe so i think here's the stripes and being an almost perfect i think he's definitely better than like the final valley units i think he's better than like indra uh kimimaru all these guys so i think he belongs up here for sure i'm probably gonna keep him here and almost perfect so Next up, we have the boy Edo Madara. Now, this has been one of the most controversial ones, but in my opinion, I'm going to put him in almost perfect. And the reason I'm doing that and not putting him in GOAT tier, I know there's people who think he's trash. I know there's people who think he's like better than the anniversary units, but let me explain. Edo Madara could slide his way up to GOAT tier, but you have to absolutely max him out. You need a high level X ultimate. You need him at limit break two or three. Like he just needs a lot of investment in order to be an amazing, amazing Shinobi. And for that reason alone is why I'm gonna put him in triple S tier, almost perfect. Because when he is completely maxed out, he can definitely sneak his way up to go tiers and attack mission main. He has revive cancel, gives himself revival, 
Um, he has a lot of AOE. I mean, he has every single buff in the game except for evasion which i mean as an attack mission main isn't really anything like game breaking that's more of like a defense thing so definitely almost perfect but he could be up here in go tier if you completely max him out so next up kakashi the boy kakashi actually got a new rekit um right before the anniversary but unfortunately i don't think they did him justice so i'm gonna put him in clapping cheeks not even an almost perfect bro honestly i think i'm gonna put him in clapping cheeks as an attack mission main um just doesn't have a lot of aoe doesn't have a lot of damage i just think his kit is just it's a little bit of a mess it's a little bit of a mess i don't think it's that great unfortunately so we're gonna keep him in clapping cheeks bariamo naruto we are putting the boy in goats here damage is crazy evasion is crazy full room x ultimate which is super super long and hard to avoid just an amazing overall unit we're gonna put him in goat tier for sure we got the brand new sasuke brand new sasuke i believe is gonna go in almost perfect um i know there's some people who could probably put him in goat tier uh well, he does have a gate crash. Nah, we could probably put him in go tier. He gives his whole team buffs. Uh, nah, I'm lying. I'm going to put him in almost perfect. The reason I'm putting him here is because his Susano is a very long jutsu that, and the whole thing is in an iframe. So that's like a huge time period where you can get ulted. Um, he's kind, it's kind of hard to keep his team together. And I don't know, man, like he's an amazing, he's an amazing Shinobi, but I just don't think he has everything he needs to be in go tier. I also believe he needs a lot of investment in order to be a good Shinobi. So that's just going to keep him and almost perfect as an attack mission main. Next up, we got Yamato. Yamato is going to be in clapping cheeks. I don't think he's an amazing Shinobi, but I don't think he's trash. I think his kit is just kind of mid. So we're just going to keep him here in clapping cheeks. And now the final two, the goats themselves, KCM Naruto and Hinata with their brand new kind of shitty rekits. Um, I'm going to put them both in great, but there's better. They're not even clapping cheeks, honestly. Um, they're in great, but there's better. So yeah, I believe this is this should be everything for my personal tier list. If I'm not mistaken, let's go through it one more time. So these are goats. These are almost perfect. Seems pretty solid so far. Uh... Eh, you know what? We could probably put Itachi up here. I think Itachi could sneak his way up here, actually. Hokage Naruto is lacking a little bit. Indra, we could probably drop him down one. Yeah, I, I think this is cool for the most part. So, this is the Attack Mission main tier list and my humble opinion. Please let me know down in the comment section below what you guys think. We're going to be getting into the support tier list right now as well. So stick around for that. I'm going to leave this up here for, you know, a few seconds. That way you guys can take a screenshot if you'd like to. Kind of take a picture of it, whatever you'd like. Let's leave this up here for a little bit. Um, I'll let you guys do your thing. And we'll get straight into the tag mission support tier list. Let's get it. All right, you guys, let's get straight into the attack mission support tier list. So first things first, just as we did for the last one, I'm going to be going through um, and just moving some stuff around if we need to move anything around at all. So same thing. I added the goat tier. Almost perfect. Still clapping cheeks. Great. But there's better and low league dookie. So starting off, um, we are going to be dropping down. Most likely, we're going to drop down Momoshiki to double S tier clapping cheeks. We're going to drop down Hokage Naruto to clapping cheeks. Um, I believe for the most part, the rest of these guys could stay here. Yeah, I think I think everyone here could probably stay. Um, you know what? Like all these guys either give their whole team great evasions, great buffs, a lot of damage. You know what I'm saying? They all contribute everything. Sakura, uh, Shikamaru, Ashura, Utakata, Takataka, and Rin give their whole team amazing buffs. And Warning Ninja Sasuke, Revive Cancel, a lot of damage. His Meteor sucks in enemies as well. Um, and Boruto also gives their whole team buffs, does a lot of damage, a lot of AOE, um, so and gives everyone invincibility. So I just believe they definitely earned their stripes in being an almost perfect. Um, let's go ahead and go through this and make sure we got everybody here as well. Uh, we could probably keep most people here. Jubito, um, we could probably put him in great, but there's better. Kushino, we can probably drop her down to great, but there's better as well. Um, Final Valley units could probably still stay here. KLM, Kaguya uh indra nah indra could probably still he can still do pretty decent damage so he could probably stay there kazekage gara is probably gonna go down to great but there's better hashirama as well kid sasuke as well um and i believe the rest of the, these guys could probably stay here kimimaro has an amazing damage output i think he's a very very underrated shinobi um and like i said you know um supports is definitely a lot more subjective because as a support you can have a support like sakura who gives you a lot of healing and a lot of evasion you can have a support like um 
for example like madara who has a lot of aoe a lot of damage like one in the sasuke or you can have someone who just strictly damage like kimimaru uh how jubito used to be you know what i'm saying indra is pretty good there so there's just a lot of different variety and a lot of subjective so uh, supports is definitely a lot more flexible i'm just kind of going all around with with who would help my team more in general with any attack mission main and kid naruto is also going to drop down and great but there's better so i believe that should be good rampage obito is honestly still pretty solid damage dealing um with his x ultimate uh no nah, but i'll probably put him in great but there's better he's a great shinobi but as a support Mm, we could probably put him there and yeah we could put kimimaro down here too if someone like uh war soccer is down here then yeah we, we'll put kimimaro down there this seems pretty solid for the most part i believe so let's go ahead and get into the brand new shinobi as well and let's get straight into it see who is goat tier who's an almost perfect and how we, how they fare as attack mission support so same as last time we got kawaki as a support i do believe he is in goat tier i'm probably gonna put mama sakura up here as well i just think she's an amazing amazing support honestly she's just get, has the whole fucking package bro she has the entire package she belongs in goat tier for sure but kawaki definitely belongs in goat tier a lot of damage um revive cancel uh he has a good follow-up jutsu if you put him with bariyama and naruto you know what i'm saying so a lot of just great great aspects about his kit that he can definitely help you out he can hold his own do a lot of damage and help you out with defeating the enemies so very very solid overall i'm gonna put him in goat tier next up we got karma boruto karma boruto as a support probably put him in as a damage dealing unit i would put him in almost perfect as a damage dealing unit I think he can belong in almost perfect just without his teleport so with his double limit breaks um and with his rasengan jutsu he's just a very amazing damage output type of shinobi his x ultimate is really solid um and he can give double double strip with invincibility and status on immunity so having that type of damage on your team is definitely going to help damage wise he definitely belongs in almost perfect um but I just think he's better than most of the other shinobi that are down here as well. So we're going to keep him in almost perfect. Uh, next up, we got Jiraiya. Jiraiya as well, I'm probably going to put him in almost perfect. I think he's a very solid support. Um, his Rasen Shuriken Jutsu with uh, Seijima Naruto. Huge AoE, huge AoE. Revive cancel on his X ultimate. It leaves a damage area. And uh, he also gives the whole team buffs as well with his Frog Jutsu and his brand new 4 star. So I feel like he's pretty solid. I think he's better than clapping cheeks he's a pretty pretty good tanky damage dealing unit so we'll put him here in almost perfect as well um i believe toby rama and madara can also sneak their way up here madara does a crazy amount of damage um toby rama does a lot of aoe as well shadow sasuke damn shadow sasuke could probably sneak his way up there too mm, for now damn nah shadow sasuke belongs up here too Kaguya is really good too, um, but I feel like almost perfect. Nah, she's lacking a little bit of damage, so we'll keep her here. But she's very good. She's on the same level as like Momoshiki. Um, yeah, I think that's a little bit better. Okay, so Kayla Minato, we're going to put him... Um, we're probably going to put him in clapping cheeks, in my opinion. We're going to put him in clapping cheeks, which isn't bad. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I mean, he just does pretty solid damage. He's just really solid all around. You know what I'm saying? I mean, without his teleport, he has a lot of AoE, sure. Um, I just feel like his damage is a little bit kind of mid. His damage is kind of just solid. He's just solid all around, but nothing too crazy. So we're going to put him there. Uh, Edo Madre as a support, probably going to put him in clapping cheeks. I don't think he's almost perfect as a support. I think he's just very solid all around as well. Um, and same thing, he would probably be almost perfect with a lot of investment, but just regular how he is, it's going to be in clapping cheeks. So we're going to put him right here. Not too bad though. Still a solid placement. Kakashi, we're going to put him in great, but there's better. Didn't really do him too much justice, unfortunately, with his rekit. Uh, Bariyama Naruto, we're going to put him in the GOAT tier. Definitely belongs up here for sure. A lot of damage, a lot of AoE, uh, double strips, all that fun stuff. We're going to put him right up there. Um... We got the new Sasuke. New Sasuke, I honestly believe, could belong in GOAT tier as well. Gives his whole team buffs. Uh, Susanoo really helps out a lot. Amaterasu, which increases cooldown times. And with the Rasengan and the follow-up Jutsu, I think he can definitely help out a lot. Uh, but GOAT tier? Damn. Nah, you know what? I'm probably going to put him in almost perfect. Almost perfect. Just because he's lacking a little bit. Not too bad. 
Um, so we'll put him in almost perfect for now. Uh, who else we got? We have Yamato. Yamato is going to be in great, but there's better. Also, a little bit of a lackluster kit. And the new KCM and Hinata are going to go in. I don't want to be disrespectful, bro. But, uh, I mean, low-key, low-league Dookie is probably where they belong probably where they belong in low league dookie honestly um so let's give this one more look through as supports i, I do believe mama sakura belongs up here uh shikomaru i feel like you can make the argument that he can belong up here but for the most part mm, yeah, he could probably stay there for the most part only because you need to just invest an insane insane amount of uh basically i guess chakra with him um, so like all of his tools, you kind of want to stack him up with just chakra and chakra and chakra, which kind of leaves out some room for things like, um, like resistances, seal resistance, paralysis resistance, all that fun stuff, which does make it a little bit difficult to kind of test him out and do all that stuff. But I think he still belongs in a very, very almost perfect. I think that's a very respectable tier as well. Um, this new Sasuke definitely belongs there. Ashura, Shadow Sasuke, Utakata, Rin. Karma Boruto, Jiraiya. I believe so. I believe everybody here also belongs in Clapping Cheeks. I know a lot of people can make the argument for Momoshiki, but honestly, most people aren't running his Tornado anymore. A lot of people just run two of his Jutsus. Uh, his damage isn't really that crazy. I think he's more of an evasion, stalling type of unit. Same with Kaguya, Hokage, Naruto, Final Valley units. Um, so yeah, I think I'm pretty happy with this list for the most part. So let me know what you guys think. I want to know what you guys think down in the comment section below. Do you guys like this new method of adding an extra goat tier? Goat tier, I feel like, is only the best of the absolute best. Um, almost perfect, you know what I'm saying? So let me know what you guys think about the tier list. This is just my personal opinion. Supports is very subjective because, like I said, it could be damage, it could be healing, it could be buffs, it could be invincibility. So let me know what y'all think. I want to know your guys' opinion down in the comment section below. Please leave a like comment and subscribe join the swag fam if you haven't already we would love to have you here drop a like drop a comment want to know what you guys have to say but without further ado thank you for watching thank you for sticking to the end if you made it already if you made it this far drop a hashtag swag fam in the comment section but appreciate y'all have a blessed day and i'll see you guys in the next one